Good evening, and welcome to the Johnson High School 2018 commencement. At this time, I ask that you please rise for the presentation of the colors, followed by the national anthem of the United States of America. Please be seated. Thank you. Thank you to the Air Force JROTC and the Johnson High School Orchestra, Band, and Choir. Now the president of the Johnson High School Class of 2018, Mr. Carlos Aldarete, brings greeting. Carlos. On behalf of the graduating class of 2018, I would like to welcome everyone here today for this very special event. Today marks a milestone in our lives, and we are extremely glad everyone came to witness it. Parents, guardians, relatives, friends, and anyone else sitting in the stand, we want to express our grateful thanks. You were fundamental in getting us here today. Thank you. Thank you, Carlos. We are honored tonight to have Superintendent Joe Gothard with us for this great Johnson celebration. Dr. Gothard brings greetings from the administration of the St. Paul Public Schools. Superintendent Gothard. Principal Thompson, distinguished colleagues, loving families, and of course, the absolutely phenomenal class of 2018. I'm delighted to be here. Yes, let's give them a round of applause.
I am delighted to be here and offer my congratulations to all of you graduates. You are a large and distinguished group. You are a graduating class that comprises 242 students. 114 of you have a GPA of 3.0 or higher. 20 have a GPA of 4.0 or higher. Nearly all of you are going on to further education, ranging from local and in-state colleges and universities to the University of North Dakota, Howard University in Washington, D.C., and Morehouse College in Atlanta, Georgia. Some of you enlisted in the military, and many others of you are going to jobs and adventures yet to be determined. And let's give them all one big round of applause. You are in good company, graduates. High school students across the nation and right here in St. Paul have done some seriously important things this year. Yes, of course, completing your first 13 years of education is one of them, but that's not really what I'm talking about. I want to salute all of you in these last tough months have taken part in form of community action, writing letters, walking in marches, joining protests, including those of you who chose to exercise your rights and walk out of school right here in St. Paul. The point is, you're taking a stand. What we've seen around the nation is something people in my line of work have known for a long time. Young people, you young people, have tremendous power to change the status quo. When you decide something needs to change, you step up and speak out. You have voice and you have choice. You can choose to use your voice and speak out. You can choose to take action when you see a wrong needs to be righted. My role in today's ceremony is to give you some advice that you'll remember for the rest of your life. But I'll tell you the truth, I'm fresh out of advice. After hearing from the high school students who have been speaking out on vital issues across our district, our city, and our nation, I think older people have a lot to learn from you. Thank you, Johnson High School Class of 2018, for showing us what it means to take a stand. Thank you for your bravery. Thank you for your voice. And now in changing gears, another thing people like to do at events like this is to share a quote. And in this case, I'm not going to let you down. It was the poet, Dr. Maya Angelou, who said, just do right. Right may not be expedient. It may not be profitable, but it will satisfy your soul. It brings you the kind of protection that bodyguards can't give you. So try to live your life in a way that you will not regret years of useless virtue and inertia and timidity. Take up the battle. Take it up. It's yours. This is your life. This is your world. Graduates, this is your world. Make it better. Thank you, all of you, for choosing St. Paul Public Schools. It has been a privilege to provide your education. I wish you the best of everything as you commence this next exciting stage of your lives. Congratulations, Johnson, class of 2018. Thank you, Dr. Gothard. Now I'm very happy to introduce Director Marnie Zhang, who will bring greetings from the St. Paul Board of Education. Director Zhang. Hello, Nyeongjong Yachongdu. Good evening, everyone. Principal Thompson, colleagues, families, and graduates. As, as a member of the Board of Education of St. Paul Public Schools, I am honored to represent this community as we recognize our, our outstanding graduates in this commencement ceremony. Congratulations to Johnson's class of 2018. Woo! I know, I know that you are excited today because today is your day. You all have worked hard to reach this day through finishing all your school courses, through challenging yourselves, participating in extracurricular activities, joining school clubs, playing sports, volunteering, marching, made lifelong friends, and participated in building your school community through, during your years at Johnson High School. As you walk across the stage tonight, you must remember that th this is only your beginning of the journey you will take ahead of you. Your diploma is a key to open the door of much more opportunities that lies ahead. Look, ar look around the room today. 
among your peers who are graduating with you right now. For some of you, your diploma, your diploma will take you far into your education. For some of you, your diploma will open the doors for you to jump right straight into your career. For some of you, you will travel far across this globe to solve world problems. For some of you, you will become a leader here in our city, the city of St. Paul. For some of you, you will become educators, just like the teachers who taught you during your years at Johnson. For some of you, you will become a, a singer. You will make it big in the world, become a dancer, a comedian, and one day, President of the, uh, President of the United States. No matter what you have planned, no matter where you, your journey takes you, you must never forget where you came from. As a graduate of St. Paul Public Schools, you carry with you the legacy of your teachers, your coaches, administrators, counselors, your parents, your neighborhood, and the pride of Johnson High School. Just like how you are standing on the shoulders of the giants who came before you, the giants who made it possible for you to graduate tonight. As a graduate, you are now a giant for others to stand on your shoulders. Make yourself proud, dream big, reach for the sky, give thanks to those who had, who had helped you along the way and supported your journey. Make change, build a legacy for yourself so that your story could be told for generations to come. Continue learning and give back so that others can follow in your footsteps. Graduates, we are so proud of you to see you walk across the stage and receive your diploma. You are embarking on your next journey. Make most of it and come back to visit us. As I conclude today, I wanna to leave you all with a quote by, Nel by Nelson Mandela. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. I hope you never stop learning. Congratulations, class of 2018, best of luck to you. Thank you, Director Shang. The Robert A. Christofferson Inspirational Teacher Award is a prestigious honor established as a memorial to Mr. Robert Christofferson, who taught English at Johnson High School for 10 years and who died in 1992. <clears throat> Mr. Christofferson felt strongly that good and inspiring teachers come to the profession as to a calling, not because they seek prestige or recognition, but because they love working with young people, enjoy their subject matter, and feel they can make a difference in the world. They care, and it shows. Mr. Christofferson was one of those inspirational teachers. In honoring other teachers with this award, we honor him and them for their dedication to the profession, their love for learning, and their outstanding and caring work with students. <clears throat> Each year, the Johnson High School graduation class is asked to choose the recipient of this award, the Johnson teacher who, over their high school years, has inspired them the most. One of the duties of the Christofferson Award winner is to address the senior class at their graduation. So you will be hearing from this year's winner in just a second. At this time, I'm pleased to announce that this year's winner of the Robert A. Christofferson Inspirational Teacher Award, chosen by the Johnson High School Class of 2018, is Dr. Mitchell McDonald, a member of the Social Studies Department. <clears throat> Dr. McDonald. I, uh, I finally got the applause I wanted. You never um, applauded me like this when I gave you homework or when I gave you uh, assignments. So it feels good to finally get some applause. All right. Um, greetings um, to all of you that are in attendance. Um, and most importantly, class of 2018. Yes. It is an honor to stand before you today as you conclude a chapter and start a new chapter in your life. 35 years ago, I sat right where you're sitting right now, exactly where you're sitting right now, as a 17-year-old graduating from St. Paul Central High School. All right? And I bet that I know how you're feeling because I was feeling the same way. You're excited. You're chatting with your friends while I'm talking. <laughs> and um, you're waiting, you're thinking about your next step, what lies ahead of you, and you're also wondering when these guest speakers are going to stop talking so you can get your diploma, right? 
Okay. I want to personally thank you, um, the class of 2018, because you made our jobs as teachers and staff members very, very easy. You met every challenge. You came to school every day ready to learn. That makes our job a whole lot easier. It makes us want to come to work. I really, uh, on behalf of the staff, appreciate that. Of course, if you've had me as a teacher before, I have to tell you a story. All right? And this story has a lesson. And this is how I'm going to conclude. OK, so I'm not going to talk as long as I talk in class. Believe me. All right? When I was a senior, going into my senior year, all right, I had not applied to any schools, any colleges. My dad kept on telling me I need to apply. My friends kept on telling me, because I was on the basketball team and that I did well in school, that the offers would just come. So I waited. So my dad got an idea. My dad decided to um, go on a road trip. He said, let's go on a road trip. I went on a lot of road trips when I was younger, so I'm like, cool, we're going to have fun. He took me to 10 schools. And we toured every school, and he made me apply every school. I was mad. It was the summer. I'm supposed to be, you know, back playing and hanging out, okay? By November, I was accepted at all 10 schools, okay? And I say that, I say that to leave you with this message. Please listen to those that love and care about you. Sometimes we don't. We think our family and we think our parents don't know anything, but they do. I didn't listen to my dad, so my dad made me listen to him, and it changed my life. So friends are friends, but family is family, OK? <clears throat> I'm finally going to close. I know y'all don't believe me if you had me as a teacher. He's really, I'm about to, be, I'm about to stop now. Uh, I want to thank you for listening. I want to thank the staff and faculty here at Johnson High School for being so great. And thank you to the class of 2018 <clears throat> for honoring me. You're the best. Thank you, Dr. McDonald. The Liberty Honor Awards were established by the Johnson classes of 1917 and 18 to honor the two students in the senior class who had contributed the most to the school during their four years at Johnson. For the past 100 years, these young people have been chosen by a vote of the whole teaching faculty for their outstanding leadership, service, and scholarship. And believe me, with your class, it was a very difficult decision. Only students with grade point averages of at least 4.0 are considered for this award. The Liberty Honor is the oldest and most coveted of all the Johnson High School Citizenship Awards, and the winners are invited to address their classmates, families, and teachers at the commencement exercises. On Senior Honors Night, the two winners received silver replicas of the earliest surviving versions of the Liberty Medals from 1921. The winners are wearing them tonight for this ceremony. The Johnson High School Liberty Honor Award winners for the class of 2018 are Josefina Tao and Isabel Patrick Pacheco. Class of 2018, I am so glad to say we finally made it. We have created so many memories together from freshman orientation till today, graduation. We can definitely say, as a class of 2018, we experienced more changes throughout our high school careers than any other class. From a new start time, changing our busing transportation system, to the changes of our bathrooms, and the incorporation of the Gabby Leaders Program. Although there were many changes, we still rose above the occasions and contributed more as a class of 2018. We created Govy Hour, led walkouts, involved ourselves in the community more, brought back coronation, even planned our senior all-night party. Not only that, 
but we broke a state record for holding the most state titles for badminton as a class of 2018. <laughs> Last but not least, we were able to accomplish our biggest achievement this year, and that is graduating together as a class of 2018. Today, we celebrate not only our hard work, but the work of those who supported us along the way. Class of 2018, we made it. Class of 2018. <laughs> My goodness, have we accomplished a lot over our years at Johnson or what? As Josephina has spoken about, together we have been able to do a lot. And yet, here we are as over 200 individuals who've, man who've managed to all have distinct high school experiences, no two the same. And what's more, leaving this auditorium tonight, diploma in hand, will mean that we're stepping off of our high school journey to have over 200 equally unique futures to come. We may not be entirely sure of what the future holds for us, for each of us, outside of maybe some general plans for the fall, but, and that can be kind of terrifying, but it's also exciting and new and something to look forward to with confidence and a smile. We've already made it this far. How can we not continue to be the greatest class that has walked Johnson's halls? Whether you're the first in your family to graduate, or setting the stakes for your siblings, or you're following the footsteps of your family, whatever your life and your family goals are or might become, you've accomplished by lo a lot by getting to where you are this very moment. Class of 2018, this is a moment of pride, a moment we can look back on in the future, in the midst of accomplishments and missteps, and to remind ourselves not only of what we have done, but of what we can do going forward. Thank you. Thanks, Josefina and Isabel. I think it's time for some music. The orchestra and band will be performing Lennon McCartney's I Want to Hold Your Hand, and the choir will sing Dilworth's arrangements of How Can I Keep From Singing. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Johnson High School Orchestra Band and Choir.
Thank you to the band, orchestra, and choir. You guys sounded fantastic. Okay, before we move on to the final part of our ceremony tonight, I have one additional acknowledgement I need to make about this class. Every single one of the graduates before us tonight completed a comprehensive senior project to fulfill diploma requirements at Johnson High School. I am pleased to announce that the class of 2018 received 27 high distinction recommendations from project judges. And those judges then had the daunting task of choosing three projects from among those with high distinction marks as the best of the best. The three students whose projects received the highest of high distinction each receive a $100 Ike Larson Senior Project Award. Mr. Larson was a member of the Johnson High School class of 1991, and his family established this award in his memory and in celebration of Johnson Governor Excellence. This year's Senior Project Award winners, they don't even know this, by the way, this is, and this is like the Academy Awards here. This year's Senior Project Award winners are Jonathan Chang. Wave, Jonathan. Jonathan did a project to design, build, and program his own computer. A.J. Austin, where's A.J.? A.J. did a great job with the community outreach work in setting up and managing a hockey game for veterans. And Christine Chesengnu, for the creation and development of her own video game app. So congratulations to those three seniors for their exceptional work and to all of our seniors for using the Johnson Senior High School project requirement as well as your time at Johnson as a way to contribute to a stronger, more creative, and more humane Eastside community. Thanks, you guys. <clears throat> And now, of course, we get to the point of this expedition here tonight, guys, which you've all been waiting for. Directors Shong and Foster, Superintendent Gothard, it is my pleasure to present to you the Johnson High School Class of 2018. As principal of Johnson High School, I affirm to you that each student receiving a diploma tonight has met or exceeded the requirements for a high school diploma as determined by the state of Minnesota, the St. Paul Public Schools, and Johnson High School. Ladies and gentlemen, the Johnson High School graduation class of 2018. <clears throat> S -s 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 
School, school board director Janelle Foster will now offer official words from the Board of Education. By the power vested in me by the state of Minnesota and by the Board of Education of Independent School District 625, I hereby confer upon each and every one of you the high school diploma with all its rights, privileges, and responsibilities. Congratulations, class of 2018. So now we're going to meet to meet all of our graduates. It would be great if we could save our, as much as possible our applause for the end so that we can hear the names of all of our graduates as their names are read. Carlos Cheyenne Alderete. Laverne Johnson. Josefina Gala Tao. Mayua Her. Maimoa Tao. Julio Cesar Sosa Guevara. Callie Cecilia Belts. Papalocha Vang. Deja Burrell Atkins. Kong Peng Vang. Alex James Campbell. Michaele Max Sawia. Dean Jabbar Davis. Dana Leanne Rose Back Baca. Sure her. Carla Mua. Tonsain Zhang Tocha Salon Lee. Baunia Mua. Shazar God's Family Azanu. Lucas Chi Nu Vang. Elizabeth Natasha Mann. Bi Chai Vu. Christina Pensha Fang. Nicole Sum. Tulip Tan Ba. Kalina Mei Li Chang. Baunye Tao. Seng Li. Padi Tao. Lilia Li. My C. Vang. Brandon Lee. Nuchi Vang. Nuchi Her. Nuji Shang. Christine Chasing Nu. Serena Gaoshia Yan. Carl Anthony Fish. Jasmine Davison. Kong Zhang. Tatiana Marie Davis. Miley Zhang. Alan Vincent Davis. Moachi Tao. Julie Chang. Seng Zhang. Mika Moa Ta Chem. Cheng Leng Yang Yang. My Lee Chang. Andrew Jacob Austin. Ku Chang. 
Tanya Hasmin Ayon Ramirez. Jonathan Chain. Jesus Enrique Balderrama. Melissa May Bond. Aaron Nicholas Bender. Ramon Shamar Boggs. Kahindi Aviola Ogandeji. Charles Laurie Dean. Christopher Carl Ranum. Manan Gavu. Mao Vicky Yang. Alex Edward Helson. Anna Yang. Peng Cha Kong. Brittany Zhang. Layli. Shukri Mohammed Layli. Marimar Via Via. Kylo Kong Peng Li. Vilai Jonathan Vang. Christopher A. Lore. Nu Vang. Yichen Ma. Exquisitella Parlene Vang. Yuzan Abraham Moa. Marissa K. Thompson. Kylie Emerald Taylor. Toy Dung Toy Win. Killian James Dilliner. Javion Deshaun Burton. <laughs> Talo He. Nu Chi Yang. Gabriela Huerta. Delilah Gao Ia Yang. Seng Sai Kong. Eleanor Paku Zhang. Baruch Lehman. Javion Edwards Williams. Panu Lee. Jar Lor. Si Chan Chi Vang. Pagar Vang. Jeremy Michael Mass. Ken Vang. Ken. Khan Nu. Tashiana Patrice Marie Tillman. Bumi Tao. Mayana Elise Shahir. Da Her. Ezra Sterling. Anna Elizondo Pacheco. Viman Yang. <laughs> Timothy Va Her. <laughs> Kalia Yang. <laughs> Keelan Jamel Jackson. Gao Zha Zhang. <laughs> Kwang Min Kim. Kong Set Win. Jenny Putter Lee. Zhang Pao Bang. Peter Lee. Ryan Chinua Bang. Jasmine Yingya Lor. Lucy Vang. Samantha McKelvey. Isabel Iris Patrick Pacheco. Isaiah Larry Scott. Nali Tao. Damian Zufeng Vang. Richard Darnell Trout. Ray Kevin Hernandez. Miguel. Jordan Jacobs. 
Kalia Yang. Che Kong. Sia Yang Zhang. Ku Lee. Luisa Rose Winnego. Tali Lee. Yolanda Bain. King Lord. Silver Vane. Pajang Moa. Melinda Vane. Alex Andrew Payne. Gabriel Alexander Russell. Kevon Paul Fenner. Anna Hain. Mariah Grace Hoopmaker. Vaya Katie Chiang Hu. Claudia Sinej Kalman. Aisha A. Ahmed. Nathaniel Dunzo Khan. <laughs> King Ching Shan Yang. Kyle Su Yang Lee. Andrew Lali Yang. Jennifer Lopez Vila. Angela Zhang. Tiffany Lor. Zazong Chi Yang Vang. Sher Moa. Tai Vang. Catherine Abigail Perez. Molly Vang. Tyrone Thomas. Danica Vang. Maizua Hang. David Perez. Chelsea Banja Her. Cedric Treshawn Oliver. Chu Sing Hyu Shika Her. Dua Moa. Joseph Nia Her. Andy Moa. Sue Her. Haley Jasmine Moore. Sukswat Pratana Her. Lore Lore. Malaya King. Ha Lore. Brian Ludaverde. Yang Lee. Kong Ping Alex Lau. Victor K. Lee. Belinda Bao Lee. Lycia Lee. Vanessa Clea Pa. Mai Chi Yang. Clara Marlene Prito Choto. Gao Sheng Yang. Kasaya Smith Pugh. Austin Kang Yang. Lucas Kang Tao. Ulysses Christian Zhang. Tu Tao. Shuanang M. Zhang. Christopher Van Ming Gang. Rosny P. T. Zhang. Paul Ming Vang. Mayao Zhang. <laughs> Paul Singh Vang. Kevin Y. Zhang. Sebastian Mamong Vang. Jay Suchi Zhang. Vicky Vu. Cho Zhang. Ricky Yang. Shinshui Yang. Wanning Yang. Wang Yang. Summer Gachua Vu. Lang Chang. Alicia Michelle Jones. 
Travis Malik Galtney. Jonathan Jordan Singfield. Daryl Wilcher. Alan Jong. Nora Dean Adam. Benjamin Jared Brin. Adesia Brianna Flowers. Ayali Muhammad. Omar Fernando Dominguez Postillos. Cavazier Q. Hampton. Kashmir Carter. Brynisha Brown. Yer Tao. Kia Lockhart. Tariana Banks. Nantina Goyi Yang. The transfer of the John A. Johnson Senior High School flag is a ceremony in which the graduating class transfers the privileges and responsibilities of school leadership to the next class. The president of the class of 2018, Carlos Aldarete, will now transfer the flag to the president of the class of 2019, Alan Herr.